I'm Alex. I'm Jason, we're the Table Monkeys, and today we are just gonna go over our hammer work again. So I did a video a long time ago uh, explaining my hammer. You can check, there'll be a little bar somewhere up on the screen there to go check that out. Uh, it's just a stick that I found in the park that I thought I liked the curve and the width of it. How often do you hear that? <laughs> uh, so I decided to attach a bunch of weight to the end of it, uh, and I just increased the weight week to week. It's up to like uh, nine and a half pounds on the end, so the whole thing weighs like 11 and a half pounds. And then uh, the four exercises I do are simply to work my chop and my fingers this way, <clears throat> to work my rise and my containment this way, to work my pronation and my containment this way, and then to work my supination and my containment this way. Yeah. And uh, the thing we really like about the hammer is the way it combines those strengths, your containment, your finger flexion, and your rotation. Yeah, right? and the way the hammer attacks your wrist is a completely different kind of pressure than we felt before in any other tool. So we really think it is superior in combining that that containment with your pronation or your radial deviation. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, and so you made yourself a hammer, because yeah. there's a lot of different ways you can do it. So I don't have a stick, and I had this, I had a dumbbell handle at home, so I just threw a fat grip on it and some weights on the end, and it's, it's basically the same thing. No curve, but it still works. So I do, uh, I do these three exercises. I work on my rise this way, holding out here. I work on my chop, and I work on my pronation. Now, I'm not a huge fan of the supination version. Sometimes I like to do statics like this, but I, you know, I like yeah. doing supination other other ways. Yeah, so. for sure. And the one you have at home, this dumbbell has like a different clip on the end, so you can't put too much weight this way. But the one you have at home, you have what, like 12 and a half pounds now? It's 12 and a half pounds total, it's seven and a half on the end. On the yeah. end of the yeah. dumbbell, okay, cool. So yeah, and, and as you add uh, weight to the end, like you add a pound to the end, it's like, you know, times the inches of yeah, it's rods that you have. Force. Yeah, it's Yeah, the force gets exponential. So yeah. that's why uh, the rotation feels so, so much different on your hand. Yeah. So uh, try it with a dumbbell handle. Find yourself a stick, hockey tape, duct tape, whatever you do it, yeah. however you do it. Uh, make yourself a hammer, add weight to it, see how it feels. Our hands are uh, continuously improving, uh, and this is definitely one of the main factors. It's a hand sport. Get better at it. Yeah. All right. If you like the video, like the video. Leave uh, feedback in the comments. Subscribe, share. Monkeys out. Peace. Mm -hmm.